And here we are for the Princess of Flowers event, or the Little Ladies event, which you can see up here. The Little Ladies Day seasonal event is underway. Woohoo! The unsettled uh, Seneschal, pardon my pronunciation, is eyeing you so plaintively that it is becoming a diff uh, becoming difficult to ignore. Please, good madame, you must help me. The young mistress has gone missing and I... I do beg your pardon. That is hardly an appropriate way to begin a conversation, is it? I quite forgot myself for a moment. Allow me to introduce, my introduce myself. I am Rodolphe, and I have the honor of serving the noble Thorn family. The young lady of whom I spoke is Aldiatha Thorn whose whereabouts I regret to report are currently unknown. And we have the options of should I know who that is or escaped her gilded cage, I take it. We shall go with the should I know who that is. A fair question and one which I shall endeavor to answer to the fullest. Spare no detail or words I live by in my profession, you see. Ahem. You have doubtless heard of the Thorn Dynasty, the period in Udon history that began some 300 years ago. During this time, the Thorn family resigned in the, or reigned in the Sultanate. Though, the, though they relinquished their stewardship over the nation in favor of restoring the Uld to the throne, the noble scions of the Thorn line have continued to occupy positions of great social importance. Lady Eldiatha is the eldest daughter of the current head of the family. Alas, she has always been frail of body. For her protection, I do my utmost to keep her from the perils of the outside world. But she has been hauler than, uh, haler than usual as of late, and when I went to look in on her this morning, I found that she had uh, given me the slip, one might say. Ever courteous, she left behind a note stating that she intended to join in the Little Ladies' Day celebrations in town. I certainly understand her desire to do so, given that her health has prevented her attendance in all previous years. However, it is far too dangerous for her to cavort about the city on her own. If she were to be taken ill, or some misfortune to behaul her, I would never forgive myself. Oh, it's the legend of the Lost Lady all over again! And now we have the options of, so shall we start the search sometime this century, or... And, ooh, the legend of the lost lady, tell me more! Uh... So which one should we pick? Hmm, well... Pressing details and more important things... Good heavens! In sparing no detail, I lost sight of the larger picture. Yes, we must find Lady Eldetha immediately. Immediately. Though I admit, even with the both of us set to the task, it will be nigh impossible to locate her without knowing where in the city she might be. I have it! Responsible for overseeing the festivities as she is, the royal seneschal surely has knowledge that we lack. Lady Odiltha may even have spoken with him. We should seek his aid first and foremost. Please, follow me. And as much as I would like to have heard the story of the lost lady... Uh, like I said, more pressing matters. <laughs> So, we just need to head over here. Ardolf. The royal seneschal takes his role very seriously. I am confident that he will help us find Lady Eldiatha. Eldiatha? I don't know how to say her name. <laughs> well met, uh, adventurer. I am the royal seneschal, and hopefully I'm saying that right, uh, tasked with making this year's Little Ladies' Day bring joy to the hearts of one and all. Are you here to become a princess for a day, or perhaps you wish to act as an eschel for someone dear to you? Either way, I'm certain we, you, we can make your dream come true. I'm terribly sorry to bother you during the festivities, but we are in urgent need of your assistance. Why, if it isn't Rodolphe? You seem quite distressed. Am I correct then in assuming that this concerns Miss Eldiatha? 
er, yes, as it happens, she wished to join the other citizens in celebrating Little Lady's Day, but she left home unaccompanied, and I fear that my chances of locating her without help are slim. That is distressing indeed. Though I have not seen her pass by, I shall of course join you in your search. I have yet to thank her for the daisies, after all. Daisies? N no, we can spare no detail later. Lady Adiltha is our priority. Well then, we can begin with the main thoroughfare on which we stand. It is all the center of the festivities and is always bustling with little ladies and their initials. If Eldietha, Eldietha wishes to join the celebration, she could not fail to be drawn to it. In that case, we should spread out so as not to miss her. Kind adventurer, please search for a dignified young lady with long dark hair between the where we stand the gates of Nald. The rail is initial and I will cover the opposite direction. And so we need to go over here. By the cherry tree. Yes, I am Lady... I am Eldiath the Thorin. Why do you ask? Because your person told us to find you? Rodolf sent you? Oh dear. I don't... I didn't think you would find me so quickly. Lady Adiltha, thanks the, thank the heavens that you are unharmed. Who knows what, we may, what may have come to pass without your assistance. The two of you have my thanks. Come now, we had best return home before you tax yourself over much. I appreciate your concern, Rudolph, but that ca that I cannot. I have a mission to slay this late little lady's day, and I will see it through. A mission? Whatever it is, it cannot be more important than your health. I will not simply wait until you collapse, or worse. And we have the options of it's her life, at least hear her out, or safety first. And we'll go with the it's her life, at least hear her out. Thank you, dear adventurer. I'm sure you'll understand why this is so important to me. You see, as a thorn, Little Lady's Day has always held special meaning for me. I was raised on, on the legend of the Lost Lady, and as I grew older, it became my dream to bring joy to the people of Ulda, just as Sultan Baldric once did. My illness, however, has kept me from so much. Eventually, I decided that if I could not brighten people's hearts on Little Lady's Day myself, I would at least contribute something that could. That's why I began growing daisies in the garden. Miraculously, as they sprouted and bloomed, my body grew stronger, and I began to think that my dream might at last come true. You and I both know that my fortune will likely not last, but that is all the more reason to do what I can right now. All I ask is for this one day. Such a kind soul. I cannot speak for Dolph, but your words have touched me deeply, as have your actions. While the thorns are always generous in their provisions for Little Lady's Day, to receive so many beautiful flowers this year was a true delight. If I may ask, why did you choose to grow daisies? Your family's crest depicts peach blossoms, does it not? That is why we typically use them as a motif for Little Lady's Day. Could we have been mistaken all this time? I'm glad that you asked, but that is a secret to be revealed at a later day, at a later time. For now, I would like to begin weaving these daisies into crowns, so that we may present them to be to the many princesses of Ulda. Crowns of flowers? What a splendid idea! Please allow us to assist you. I will set my staff to the task at once. Wonderful! The preparations will go so much more smoothly with the Royal Seneschal's cooperation. Rudolph, pray bear with me a little longer. A little bit longer. I cannot. Though I am loath to disappoint you as your Seneschal, it falls to me to protect you. Your health notwithstanding, it is simply not safe for you to wander the city. We cannot assume that all who walk these streets have motives as pure as your own. 
little lady's day or no. You cannot mean to take me back, not when I'm so close. And so we have the options of I will accompany you and guarantee her safety myself and or allow me to serve as her senescial today. And we'll go with the first. Hmm, I suppose that she would be reasonably safe with you as a bodyguard. Very well. Oh, thank you so very much. Let's go and crown some princesses right away. And off she goes. Lady Adiltha, please do not sprint so. Wait, we haven't finished making the flower crowns yet. Uh, never mind. Well, I have no doubt that she will succeed in putting smiles in the faces of many a little lady with her flower crowns. Assuming she has them on hand, I will have my staff bring along the ones that are finished so that you can take some with you. Here we are. Please go after Miss Adiltha and see that these find their way to the heads of, of, of would-be princesses. And thusly, we must needs head over this way. Adiltha. Oh, I'm such a scatterbrain. You didn't happen to collect the flower crowns from the royal senescial, did you? I'd so like to present one to this young woman. And Rudolph. If we work efficiently, I may be able to I may be able to return the lady home before her father becomes worried. Little princess. Sorry, am I in the way? Flower crown, a ring of vibrant daisies fit for a princess. Oh, a crown made of flowers. It's so pretty. Do you think that if I wear this, I can be a princess too? I really can? This is the best day ever. I have to go and tell father that he's my senescial now. Did you see her smile? It's, one it's wonderful that even hundreds of years later, the legend of the lost lady can bring people such joy. Shall we try the steps of Thal next? I'm certain we can find others who dream of becoming a prince of becoming princesses. Lady Eldiltha, I spare no detail in warning you of the dangers of running mere moments ago. And so we need to head over here. And we actually need to head over down there. And so up these steps and just over here. Eldiltha. This woman surely deserves a flower crown. I know her husband will love it as well. Rudolph. I must admit, I scarce remember when I la when I la when last I saw Lady Adiltha so happy. Doting Seneschal. My wife and I have come to enjoy Little Lady's Day. I have been too busy with work to spend time with her as of late, but the festivities give me an excuse to put my duties aside and take her on a romantic stroll. But you're a princess. Hello, can I be of service? Flower crown. A crown of flowers? Are you quite certain you mean to give this to me? Surely there are younger ladies whom it would better suit. There's no mistake, I assure you. Though you may no, no longer be little, I am certain that you are a lady who is a princess at heart. Well, tis true that as a child I always dreamed of being a princess, really dressed billowing as I glide gracefully through the palace halls with a doting seneschal at my side. How do I look? If you're going to laugh, hurry up with it! Hurry up about it! You are a vision of beauty, my lady. If I may be so bold, it is an honor to serve one as lovely, as gentle as... Yeah, but stop, stop! Gods, I'm blushing! Well, 
don't go and make it seem embarrassing. I always dreamed of having a princess to treasure, you know? And I found you and er uh, oh now I'm blushing. Uh dorks. I mean hi. Thank you. It seems both of our childhood dreams have come true. I never expected to feel so much like a princess at my age. What a darling couple. Little Lady Stay really does have the power to touch people's hearts no matter their age. For we were all children once. Children listening, starry-eyed to tales of princesses and seneschals. Childhood tales. Yes, I remember. It was for the same reason that I dreamed of becoming a seneschal. To do my utmost to make one lady, one princess, smile. But can I truly say I've been living up to that ideal as of late? Cough, cough, cough. Lady Adultha, are you alright? I will be fine, though I suspect you were right. I should not have run so much earlier. Let us return to the Royal Seneschal. I will contact your father and ask that a carriage be sent. So now we need to head back. Ah, Dilsa. I apologize for worrying you. I will be fine. And Royal Seneschal. Perhaps all of this excitement at once was a bit too much for her. And Rodolph. Lady Adiltha seems to be doing well for the moment, and we shall return home without further exertion on her part. Rest assured that there is no cause for you to worry. Thank you. Because of your help, I was finally able to make my dream come true. I'm so sorry to repay your kindness with more trouble. Not a problem. Now, now, don't you worry over making others worry. Then everyone will be worried. Why don't we discuss something else instead? Perhaps you are ready to share with us your reasons for choosing daisies, for instance. But of course, I will tell you the story while we wait for the carriage. After Sultan Baldric served as a seneschal to the Miller Girl, he chose to do the same once each year for other Uldan ladies. It is said that this was his way of reminding himself and others that all girls should be treasured. Then one year, the girl who he had chosen to be, then one year, the girl he had chosen to be princess for a day presented him with a bouquet of daisies to thank him for his service. The daisies that grow in Ulda are hardy, capable of proliferating even in our arid climes. This made them popular amongst the common folk, for even those without a proper garden could, would, could grow or pick them. Of course, for the same reason, the nobles considered them beneath notice at best. Notice at best. Amongst the nobility, presenting someone with such common flowers might even be considered an insult. So when the little lady gave them to the sultan, his attendants could do naught but hold their breath in trepidation. But knowing how hard the girl had worked to pick them, the sultan gladly accepted the daisies. He bade his attendants fashion them into circlets, and removed, removing his own royal crown, placed one on his head and another on hers. We're the same, you and I, he said, smiling. Ever since, the Thorn family has considered daisies to be symbols of happiness. That your flower crowns had such meaning behind them? I had no idea. As your seneschal, I should have. I should have asked. I should have listened to every detail. But I am listening now, and if there is one thing I have learned today, it is that every lady deserves to be treated as a princess. So I ask, does that not include you as well? do I look? And so we have the options of just like a princess, just like Sultan Baldrick. And we'll go with just like a princess. To be honest, that's what I was hoping to hear. Oh, and it seems Rodolph has one for you as well. We are the same, you and I. 
Yeah, I've always wanted to say that. It seems that my lady is not the only one following in the footsteps of Sultan Baldric today. You not only watched over Lady Odiltha, you helped me understand what is most important to her. In granting her wish, you have granted mine as well. Thank you. I can hardly express my gratitude. I've never had such a wonderful day in all my life. It's because you were able to help me dream come, help my dream come true. Thank you. I only wish that I didn't have to leave so soon. If that is your wish, we will simply have to find a way for you to stay longer next year. For my part, I'm grateful to all of you. This will be a little lady's day to remember for many of us. I am sure of it. But it is not over for you and I, is it, adventurer? We must work to see flower crowns in the hands of many a princess and Tenechel yet. And we get our own flower crown. And just to see what it looks like. Ta-da! And thus we have an achievement. And we now have access to the Cathedral Quest. And so from this point on, there is six different little cutscenes that we will see. And one of them has uh, three different combinations and you'll see why and I'll say why then. And so I will try to go through all of them in some sort of order. The Royal Seneschal is eager to see more floral crowns on the heads of the Little Ladies Day celebrants. If you have the time, I would certainly use more assistance in presenting our flower crowns to those on Emerald Avenue. As I mentioned, it is at the center of our Little Lady's Day celebration, and nary a moment passes without a would-be princess or seneschal walking by. I will divide my remaining stock with you. Please wait by yonder peach tree and offer crowns to an any potential celebrants whom I have missed. My staff is weaving more as we speak, so return to me when you need, a need to resupply. And so we need to head over here, where the shiny steps is. Destination. Is that you, my loyal assistant? Why are you standing about gormlessly in the middle of town? If you don't remember, he's the alchemist's person. A flower crown? How utterly banal. Though we're one to apply an admixture of the appropriate viscosity and translucence, it may be possible to preserve its beauty evermore, thereby defying principles that have heretofore been presumed unyielding. Perhaps I do require one after all. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Guildmaster Redolent Rose, if I'm not mistaken. What brings you here? Thaumaturge Guildmaster. Weaver's Guildmaster. And also a certain somebody in the Gold Saucer who he will def deny as being. We actually get to see a little tidbit of that in this dialogue. <laughs> what brings you here? Ah, a master of the Thaumaturge's guild. I recall the eye patch, so you must be Coco... Er... Kokobuki, yes. That was it. As to your question, I've come to evaluate the fashions of the day, and by evaluate, I simply mean observe. Of course, I'm not keeping score. Who would do that? <laughs> anyway, the flower crowns certainly are charming, are they not? Charming, yes. Such an embellishment would ill suit me. Boosie, on the other hand. One crown, my good woman.
a pleasure, a pleasing headpiece, and perhaps suitable for later use in alchemic solutions. Boosty will be delighted. His name may be impossible to remember, but he is unmistakably the eldest brother. I do hope his siblings know how much he cares. Hello! Bye bye! And so that was cutscene number one. Ah, you have returned. How did you fare? What a charming tale. We shall have to relay it to Miss Odiltha, and she will be delighted to know that her crowns are the source of such happiness. For my part, I appreciate you, your continued assistance. Needless to say, you will always be welcome to join me in acting as seneschal to the ladies, little ladies at Ulda. And so we get magic prism daisies. And just to demonstrate. That's what it does. I'll try that again without having that in the way. Makes a little crown in the air. Anyway, so from here on I'll just show the destination and waiting for the cutscene and then the cutscene itself because the beginning dialogue and the after dialogue are exactly the same. Destination. So this one has three options, and you'll see why later. And so I will go to the top of the order just so it's easier to remember. Anyway, Ulala says, Hello there, adventure. I don't believe we've met. I'm Ulala, beloved star of the songbirds and soon to be number one songstress in all of Eurasia. Now if you met them in previous years, the dialogue is slightly different. They were here last year. I'm Nurima. Though I lack Ulala's boldness, I too believe that our ensemble can reach the realm through our performances. I hone my voice night and day to make certain that when we do, I can stand proudly before our audience and lift their hearts with my song. And I, Mashu Makaraka, you can call me Masha. My voice may not be as sweet as Narumi's, but I more than make up for that with my dancing. I love to inspire our fans to move with the music. So, are you waiting for a Seneschal to come, or maybe you're a princess? Ah! Or, oh, I adore flower crowns. May we each have one? Come to think of it, this seems like the perfect opportunity for one of our signature uh, friendly competitions. Shall we ask Slubrin to judge who wears our cr her crown best? Oh, absolutely. It never hurts to gauge public opinion, and I'm confident that she will make the objectively correct choice. No matter how many times we do this, I can't help but feel nervous. But, well, Slubrin, what do you think? Who does the crown best suit? And as I said, we'll stop at the start at the top of the order. So we have the options of Ulala, she's so cute I could die, or Narumi, the crown befits one gentle of spirit, or Masha, poised and graceful as a princess should be. Oddly enough, the length of the text is also equivalent to their heights, sort of. Ha! Huh, I knew you would choose me. I'm no less pleased to hear it, though. Thank you. The songbirds will continue to flutter into hearts across Eorzea to spare a thought for us as you wander far and wide, until we meet again. Destination Conveniently, we got this again. <laughs> so I'm just going to skip ahead to the 
part where it is slightly different. And so we will pick Narumi this time. Narumi, the crown befits one gentle of spirit. Me? I'm honored, thank you. I will remember your words and I am certain that you shall help me find my voice in times of need. I know not where or when it might be, but I look forward to the next time we meet. Destination. adventure and once again we got this one so I will skip to the part where it's different. We'll go with Masha. Poised and graceful as a princess should be. Who me? I realized that it was, it was I who proposed the contest but I wasn't expecting to re receive such a compliment. Thank you. This has been great fun. I hope we'll meet again soon. And wherever you go, remember that the songbirds are singing for you. Bye-bye. Destination. There we go, here's another one. Celebrian, are you helping the Rail Seneschal this year? How kind of you. Goldsmiths, uh, Guildmaster. Serendipity. Come on, if it isn't Miss, Miss, Mistress Serendipity shimmering with youth. Hooglist, Master, uh, Guildmaster. I'm pretty sure that's just light reflecting off my accessories, but what brings you here, Master Ca uh, Hammond? Ham and Holy Fist would never forgo a chance to celebrate with the ladies. Ho ho ho! Keeps me vigorous. And what about you, Mistress Serendipity? Do you require a seneschal for the day? I would be at your back and call, managing your mammoths, polishing your hammers, delivering righteous blows to the teeth of your persistent suitors. Oh my, that's very specific of you, but I couldn't ask you to do that. And Chuchito would probably be less than pleased to find you skewing your own guild duties in favor of mine. Oh, woe is me. Were I twenty, I actually better make that forty years younger. If you'd like to celebrate with someone, why not take one of these flower crowns to Chuchito and tell her how much you appreciate her? I'm sure she'd be delighted to have your help with some of the more tedious guild work for the day. At the very least, don't you agree? Make a princess of my ever-devoted disciple, eh? Well, she certainly deserves it. Deserves it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Destination. Could it be? The girl in spoken of in fairy tales and romances? The accessory of my childhood dreams? A flower crown? How wonderful! It will perfectly suit a fair maiden such as I, don't you agree? Oh, I can hardly wait to show bitter snow. You'll fall in love with me all over again. isn't yellow moon. I see you're enjoying your flower crown. We picked ours up from the royal seneschal just a moment ago. Aren't that cute? And she's in the weaver's guild. She's the miner's guild master, I think. And she is the gladiator's guild master. Adalberta, you look positively precious. And you, Mila, 
are stunning. Somehow your steely gaze makes your crown all the lovelier. You should decorate your hair more often. I feel utterly ridiculous, but Adalber Albert Adalberta insists I wear the thing. Come now, there's no use pretending. You know you like it, and you'll be returning hats for the rest of the day. One hat in particular, I'm sure. Not another word, do you hear me? Now, now, no murder on Little Lady's Day. It's not ladylike. Oh, I would never harm a little Berta. She's one of my oldest and dearest friends. You know, she is constantly pastoring me. Well, someone has to do it. Der her. <laughs> bye bye. Destination. Hmm, you have the look of an adventure. If you're looking for beasts to slay, you're in the wrong place, I'm afraid. Giving out crowns with the little ladies, day. Interesting. Shall we take one to Nanako? What a bad idea. She always did love it when we read the legend of the lost lady to her as a child. She's been so immersed in her research lately that she's likely like to have forgotten about Little Lady's Day altogether, which means it'll be a pleasant surprise. And if you've done the quests for them, or well, them, the dialogue is slightly different as well. Heh, she's a lucky girl to have you two watching over her. While we're on the subject, Renfar, isn't there anyone you would want to give one of the, uh, these crowns to? What? What? No, no. What are you talking about? Why? No, of course not. I'm far too busy to train, uh, busy training to even think of such things. In fact, the bronze bull hears the call of Lirina right now. Farewell. How nice it is to see you, Slivrian. Tis I, your favorite common merchant daughters, come to enjoy the Little Lady's Day celebration. Ho oh, ho, is that a flower crown I spy? How lovely. Could I perchance trouble you for one? Little Lilara, do you not think that a crown will cause you to er, stand out over much? Not at all. This is a day on which all little ladies are as princesses, is it not? Or do you believe that a crown will not suit one such as I? Mama, my lady, that was hardly my intention. <laughs> I just, I just. Well, I understand your meaning. Yet, my point stands. As a little lady, it is fitting that I have a crown. And I would quite like one besides. I expect that everyone at home will be surprised. It has been quite some time since I was last a princess. Hmm, or shall I play the role of Sultan Baldric instead? My lady, I'm your royal seneschal. I only ask that you avoid any chests that may alarm your other attendants. I nearly perished on, nearly perished on the spot. Bye bye. And the royal handmaiden here has the other stuff that we can get, so we can get peach confetti, cherry confetti, best of uh, chirashi zushi, which is almost identical to nomuro chirashi zushi, but with more, uh, markedly more festivity. So it is stuff for your house. And then festive sushi balls. Off-putting by the oblong attitudinal proportions of regular sushi, well, your prayers have been answered. All the fresh fish and, vin and vineyard rice you love 
ham-fisted into semi-sophisticated Freud's perfect for popping. So I'm just gonna get 12 of each. And mostly so that I can go like this after I open up the inventory and use. So that's that one. And that was the peach one. And then here is the cherry one. Apparently they make sounds. Hmm. Cool. But anyways, that's it for the little princess. The little princess, and there it is. <laughs> anyway, the little princess, little ladies' day. Not little princess, whatever. Little ladies' day. <laughs> so thanks for watching.